Hi, my name is Natalia and I want to do some decoration for my home uh, using materials from the nature. Uh, I decided uh, to do something with stabilized moss and after spending hours searching in Google and YouTube, I actually haven't found any video that shows step by step how to do that. That's why I'm trying right now to make such video and maybe that will help somebody to do that. So let's start from picking up moss in the forest. I live in northern Sweden, which is perfect place to do yes, that. Okay. If you are not so lucky, you can buy moss from some store, internet store also. But let's let's do it with me. So this is Icelandic moss, which is the best material, and it's quite expensive to buy it actually. So when it's dry. It's hard and it, but when it's stabilized or wet, it's quite fluffy. So I hope that that will be a very nice material for very nice incomes. We'll see what will be. This is how the moths grow. Oh. Moss spread is most like this but it's not so nice you can see it so it will not be so fluffy and you will not have such nice bubble shape those mosses are actually favorite food for mooses reindeers oh i am lucky to find a bush Nice moss. Perfect. This is the moss that I collected in 20 minutes. And now I am heading to my car to come to home and start stabilizing the process. I stopped my car when I saw this treasure, this moss treasure. This is very beautiful. Actually, this is a bit another moss that I showed you before, but I can try to work with it as well. Especially that there are plenty of it here. And it's very convenient place to come and collect more if I need. A bit dirty. A bit of lichens, old roots, hope not ants. Hmm? Hi, now I am at home and I'm gonna to continue my idea with stabilizing moss. So now my moss is dry and clean and uh, the next step will be dying in into a special solution made of glycerol and warm water but also i want to uh, give some color to it green color that is left from easter when i painted easter eggs but any colors that you have would work like food color is very good so we need uh, glycerol and water and proportion is one part of glycerol and two parts of water. Water must be warm, like around 70 degrees Celsius with 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So I will use East paint for Easter eggs. I want to have it green. So now we have green hot water and 
add one, two parts of hot water and one part of glycerol. It's important to have warm water, otherwise the glycerol will not mix with water so well. Now you need something where you will actually dive moss in a solution. So I will use the plastic box from Candies. Just put moss inside. Right now it's very dry, so you need to be careful with it. But as long as it gets a bit wet, it becomes soft and fluffy like cotton. So when it's fluffy, then you don't worry that it can break. You see, those became now. When almost is inside, just to make sure that everything is inside the glycerol solution, so. I will put some extra piece of plastic and a rock to to keep it inside the solution. Cover with extra lid and leave for three days. Hi, this is Natalia again. And now, after two days, when moss was in a glycerol solution, it's time to see the result. For the spinal stage, it's good to be prepared with rubber gloves to prevent uh, dye gets into your hands and also use some surface that can be colored. So, for example, I used baking tray and uh, kitchen paper towels on top. So. Let's get it. Now it's like a sponge, so a little bit I squeeze it just to have less liquid here. Now I put this nice spongy moss to dry. So I think it will take maybe one day, maybe a bit less for water to evaporate, but the moss will stay the same as it is now, so it will have a nice shape and not crunchy as it was dry. So I will be back one more time to show you how how it looks when it's dry but already stabilized or preserved. See you soon. Finally, we got our moss, what we wanted from the beginning. I'm very happy and actually very satisfied with the result. So it's light, it's... Oh! <laughs> we have light, nice color, fluffy and I don't know, durable, maybe the right word, moss.
that what we got we don't need that so now my plan is to decorate a wall clock with it the result of it and process you can maybe find in my next video so if you want to see that so just subscribe for my channel and also another thing that I would like to mention is that um, glycerol solutions that we used for stabilizing that moss I decided to recycle and into the same solution I inserted another type of moss so I don't know will it work or not because solution was not warm we'll see if that matter or not i hope you enjoyed my video and you are very welcome to uh, ask the questions in the comments and i will of course answer them and also please if you have experience in doing such things share your experience and show results of your work hope to see you in my next videos bye